So what's happening here in the Wake County real estate market? Everyone wants to know, will the market slow down and how should inflation affect your decision to buy or sell a home? So let's just take a look at the data of what's happening so you can make an educated decision. First off, according to all of the experts, we are in a strong seller's market and home prices are expected to continue to rise. So let's look at what inventory levels are doing here locally. Is it a good time to sell on the triangle? That's the number one question we always get asked. Well, let's look at what happened recently. In Raleigh, and at the time of this video was made, which is May of 2022, we currently have 372 homes that are active and for sale. And the average time to sell a home is only seven days. Now you may be wondering if it's a good time to sell in Durham. In Durham, we have only 329 active homes on the market. For April's totals for Raleigh, there were 737 homes sold and closed, ranging from 140,000 to 2.75 million. Now, keep in mind that about 64 people relocate and move to Raleigh every single day. And considering these numbers, it's easy to see our inventory cannot sustain the amount of people that are moving here and the heightened amount of first time home buyers that we've ever seen in history. So here in the greater triangle, we have a low inventory and strong buyer demand. It's a great time to sell. And as we are consistently experiencing bidding wars and homes being sold above list price, feel free to reach out to us for a strategy session, whether you're a buyer or a seller. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and help you with all of your real estate needs.